everybody now today we are going to see how you can submit your surveys in e-learning platform first of all before to submit the surveys you must have an account in e-learning platform then uh, and you go on browser to start by entering in e-learning platform let us follow step by step how you reach your surveys and how you submit your survey first of all you go in your browser then you type www.iranning.lab.org after to type this website you click on enter now once you click on enter your platform will open it like this one then you see that here you are not logged in you can submit your surveys as a guest or you can submit your surveys as a user of this platform it is better to submit your surveys as a user first of all before to sub to submit you need to know where the survey is located and you must click on login in the right upper corner once you click on login the platform will open like this one and you will be asked to enter your username you see here we have username all email if you have a lab e-learning platform account you can write your account here and you write your password the password here after to enter your email account on this place you write your password on this place then after you click on this place you click on login remember that there is possible you do not have a e-learning platform account in this time you need to pass through this button you pass here login using your account with iran office 365 you will pass here on this platform to on this button in order to enter in your account you click here after to click here it will be opened and will ask you to enter your account provided by lab remember you have account which is microsoft account for example let me light say Yumba. Justin Lobas Lab dot one. Now as you you will put your exactly username or your email provided by Lab with the extension Lab Lobas Lab dot Then after you click on next to click on next you will need to put your password i put mine after to put my password i click on sign in once i uh sorry it is a mistake let me repeat once Once I click on sign in, it will give me the option of for sign in easy, in easy mode, or not to save. If I would like it that the account will, the browser will save my account or my password and the username, I click on yes. If I do not need it, I click on no. Then for me, let me choose to use no. After to click on no.
it is open you see that it is opened like this one now my use my name are appear on the upper right corner after to get into in e-learning platform you see that I may come here, I may come here on site home, after to get on site home, I scroll down, I scroll down, scroll down, then I found the CAD project, CAD in service teacher training program. After to click on CADI service teacher training program, I click on CADI online teacher training course. After to click on CADI service teacher training course, I scroll down. Then I come on service. You see that here I found a baseline service. It may be a baseline service or pre-test or it may be a post-test. If it is the pre-test, I click on this pre-test here. You see here we have a paragraph. On this paragraph, I will click on here or here to start by com to start completing survey. Once I click here, it is open it. is opened like this. You see that the survey started opening and I start by typing I start by typing my question. For example I have come here I click gender male age for example I click here teaching experience uh, qualification area of full study I type for example general general education name of school name for example subject How many times that you have attended the ISD education related training workshop? For example, I can choose. This is the second training. This is the first training. Never attended the more than two. Let me click here, for example. There are the expectation for this online training. For example, getting, getting more skills. More, more skills skills about ICT and so only. Then once I finish to complete this information, I click on the next. Then there is another page to complete also. Also there is another page to complete. After to complete this page, I click also on the next. Then after I will get on a button called the submit. Then I click on the submit. Finally, I finish to submit to complete my survey. This is step by step. You need to follow when you would like to submit your survey. Even it is a pre-test survey or it is a post-test survey. Thank you. You will watch another uh, video helping you to continue training.